like to welcome all of you in the house of the Lord tonight, or today, I'm sorry. Good morning, happy Mother's Day. Um, we will just keep continuing in worship because we were created to worship and He deserves it all. So give your best, whether you are standing, whether you are sitting, whether your hands are raised, whether your tears are falling, whatever it is, let it come straight from our hearts because that is what matters. That is what he is looking straight through to, is our hearts. So I pray that you are blessed this morning. I pray that you give your best because God deserves it all. Father, we worship you this morning because you are so great to be praised. Father, our gathering is in vain unless it is under you and with, it, with you, Father. We thank you for being here with us today, Father. We thank you for your presence, Holy Spirit. Continue to fill this place. Continue to soften the hearts of your people. Yes, Lord. Help us to give our best, Father, because that is who you are. You are the best. Yes, to you be all the glory, the honor, the praise. Be with us from the beginning of our service to the end, Father. To you be all the glory, your precious name.
Father, we give you all the praise, the glory, the honor that you deserve. For you alone are worthy of all praises. You deserve all the glory, the honor, and the praise. And Father, we give you all the praise, the glory, the honor that you deserve. We give you the praise and the glory and the honor that you deserve for everything, for what you have done for us for everything. Father, we give you all the praise, the glory, the honor that you deserve. We thank you for your creation all around us. We thank you for everything, for what you have given us in life. We give you the praise, the glory, the honor that you deserve. We thank you for Jesus Christ, who died for our sins. For all the women, Father God, and for all the mothers. I know that today is Mother's Day, but every day, Father God, should be everyone's day, Mother's Day, every day. And Father, we give you all the praise, the glory, the honor that you deserve for all that you have given us. We pray for the leaders, missionaries, field, we pray for all the, the missionaries here and abroad, and Father, we give you all the praise, the glory, the honor that you deserve, and Father, we thank you in Jesus' name, we pray for the, for me, the sister me, for leading our service, and we pray for all the mothers in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. If you're happy to be in the house of the Lord, can I get an amen? amen? Hallelujah. It's so good to see your beautiful faces, mothers and women. Um, this is just a friendly um, announcement. If you are a mother, please make your way to the middle. Uh, we, our decor team um, really put in their hearts um, and working hard for us. <laughs> Sorry guys. And so Liz, Ellie, come on. Don't be shy. TT and Chinky, come on. Let's give them a round of applause. so much for being obedient. God bless you. Okay. All right. So now is another important part of our service. Um, who loves to give? Amen. Who loves to give with a cheerful heart? Amen. I love the babies. Yes, good job, guys. Um, so we were gonna, I'm going to call up, up Sister Tala, please. Um, 
Yes, look, give her a hand. Um, uh, Silly Fuasa. Praise God. This is my first time standing up here. And I'm going to try the best I can because is really encouraging and keeping. But I, uh, I'm going to try. Um, but the, the text that the, the giving is uh, another important part of our ministry, also the body of Christ, because if we don't give, and if, if we won't be able to, uh, to build or also operate the, the ministry, and I'm right, right? Yes. Giving is also an act of worship. Yes. Um, we must teach ourselves to learn how to give, to be faithful in our giving. Um, this is just to our church. Um, we have to think how did we get, we got everything that we have. We have to think about that. Um, who else will give us all this? It's, like it's God, and it's given by God. Therefore, we have to do the same thing, is giving back to Him. So I encourage our church, please give. Don't give the dollar, give the hundred dollars. If you want more blessings from God, so you have to open up your hands and be joyful giving for the men and the women and the children. And the mother and the children are the children. And the children are the children. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Well, I can all make your way up. Well, Thank you. Well, I can
Father, thank you for all that who have given, Father. Bless them. Bless their jobs, Father. Bless wherever um, they get income from, Lord Jesus. I pray that you continually soften their hearts to continue to give, Father, to your ministry. In your precious name, Jesus. Amen. 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 Now here's our favorite part. Okay, we are going to be, um, get your hearts ready to receive um, from God's word. Um, our preacher this morning is a very beautiful and noble woman. She is our first lady and her name is Angel Talmua. Please welcome her. Amen. Beautiful smile. It's good to see everybody this morning. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, You look beautiful today. You look handsome this morning. Make sure you say that to your husband and your wife and not somebody else's husband or wife. Right? Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Greetings to you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We would also like to extend our welcome to our visitors. Can we just give a round of applause for our visitors this morning? Thank you so much for uh, uh, Praise God. Happy Mother's Day to everybody this morning. Um, happy Mother's Day in particular to our beautiful mothers, um, our God-fearing woman here at Midway uh, Church. Amen. Amen. Uh, we praise God because without God's love and His faithfulness, we wouldn't have this day. Amen. Um, and I just want to take this time to really commend the mothers. Um, your, your, your job and your duties, the roles that you have and play in, in, in your families is huge. And you know, before becoming a mother, I didn't really understand. Because I wasn't a mother, right? And so I would see, you know, my uh, uh, my mother, he, she would work, you know, hard. And, and for me, I didn't really understand until I became a mother. And I, can I just say that I have even more respect for every mother here today because of, of the big job and the role that you have as a mother. And having Judah, I can say that mothers, mothers are really, really, you guys are super women. That's, that's all I can say. And I'm sure I'm in a foyo-yo-to-tay-to-o-ro-yo-me-tay-yo-i-le-ng-al-we-ng-a-fi-ta-ma-le-ng-al-we-ng-o-ro-to-a-fi-ya-i-to-ton-o-ro-to-a-ma
they problem solve as well. How huh? we have a lot of roles that have, that um, that we take on as mothers. So thank you so much, mothers. I commend you this morning. If I will be a tele le tua yati oto malinga luenga ol oto faye te tonu oto aina malika le sia. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, I lay oto sato le kole tua e mo mo lava foyo na mo mo le atu le le sia nama faftai. Awale le fa mo mo le sa ta pe le yai le maftana tama le sumal fa fe ngaina le presteni o le tap o le maftana tama mal ofisa. I'm listening for my time to my ears. Yes, one and a half. Um, I'll say no for it. I'm going to take fire to the the fifth time for it. But for me, I can't sit and and really. I want to acknowledge the hard work that you guys put in for us. Um, mothers, can we just give them a round of applause again? Amen. Uh, we know that you guys did not do this uh, just for any other reason, but simply because you love your wife, you love the mothers of our church. I see the CDI for auto fire or not if you know now or not. You guys have done it for God. Um, so let's tell you, yes, I'm a family of the two yards of auto. Um, I'm a my son of a thing, I'm a family of my time to bar. If I know in auto in the two, in the two, so my name, but that's my mind and I'm. I see the other folks here also with their love for my name and they might have too. And may you guys be continue to be a blessing within your own families. I felt when we are telling their two yati also. I know this is not a time to 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 do a money market. I just want to say thank you to to my husband. I know that Mother's Day is is just for one day that we celebrate here, but my husband he um he treats every day for me. Um, like it's Mother's Day, so um, I want to say um, thank you, honey. But say it to the oil and all of the stuff my mommy got out. You know, leaving home, leaving New Zealand wasn't an easy thing, but having a loving, caring husband like him uh, has really made the transition easy for me to be here in America. So I praise God every every single day um, for you. And what I love about him is that. Um, the same person that you guys see here is the same person. Um, so I praise God for that as well. Um, and thank you so much for being a blessing in my life. And then the youth as well. Thank you so much. Um, just for pampering the mothers. I know a lot of us uh, enjoy Friday night. Um, husbands, I'm sure you guys uh, enjoyed your wives and, and saw that they were they, they would continue to be beautiful um, on Friday. So thank you for pampering us on Friday. We felt we were telling you to a little too far now to a little more. So serving at Mato in Asparale. And what I loved about our young people, you know, they came. I think every five, ten minutes, they came up to us. Uh, do you need anything? Mom, do you need anything? Uh, do you want another drink? Do you want to top up on your drink? So we love that they are, that our children are serving even at this age and uh, praying for God's blessings over our young people. Amen? Okay. So this morning our Bible reading is found in Proverbs 31, verse, verses 29 to 31. Um, 
Uh, if you found your uh, text with us this morning, that's how to fight our fight to see my own fight for those from my labor. Say for another mind in the fight for those from the Tassi, I know what to see, and I'm alive here. Let's go. 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 Let's Many daughters have done well, but you excel them all. Child is deceitful, and beauty is passing. But a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates. Well, out to Molenea Sustina, Wafal Puina, Aule Fine, Wamatao Yalioba, Evi Yalaba Oya. Our theme for this morning is uh, But a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. So today, since it's uh, Mother's Day, we're going to talk about a God fearing woman. And you know, because the word of God is not only for, for mothers in particular this morning, fathers, you could put yourself in that. You could change it and say, a God-fearing man, a God-fearing husband, a God-fearing father, a God-fearing person. Amen? And you know, before we look at what a God-fearing woman looks like or does, it's a tau love on a tattoo, man of a lover, but the other being on the upulea or the matau. Before we even get to what a God fearing woman looks like, we must first understand what it means to be God fearing. What does this word mean, God fearing? And you know, when we think about the word fear in the English, we think uh, of being scared, right? We think of being afraid, uh, frightened of something. Fear is something is, is more so a negative thing. But the fear of the Lord in the Bible is not a negative thing, it's a positive thing. And so to fear God is a life that is committed to the Lord through obedience. That is what to, um, that's what fearing God means is to live a life that is obedient towards Him. Amen? So obedience is key. And so this morning, you know, the world's idea and the view of, of how the world perceives what God fearing is, you know, they say that all you need to do is you got to keep the rules of that faith or that belief and then you're considered God-fearing. So if you pray every day, you go to your church, you don't eat this, don't do that. So when you keep the rules, you're considered God-fearing, right? But, the, but to fear God in the Bible is more than that. It's not, a, it's not just keeping the rules and then you say you're God-fearing. Well, it's a nata matawiya tua in tusfa'iya. Amen. God wants a life of complete submission and obedience to Him. He wants your all. He doesn't just want a part of your life. He wants everything. He wants your whole person. Amen. And you know, your works are important before the Lord. I'm not saying you know, um, praise God if, um, with your faithfulness and serving Him every single week. You tithe, you clean the church, you come and work in the um, in the Fahuma. Thank you, thank you so much for your hard uh, your hard work. Um, um, I don't want that. Um, my encouragement is 
Elena and 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 Elena O le tanata e matau le tua e o fo le atu o le tanata atua e ala le a ile u sitai i luma o le atua. A God fearing woman. So e lua la me o te fia talano i a ile nei tai au e te loai se te na o se fa fine e matau le atua. So this morning I want to bring across two things that you can recognize or how you can identify a God fearing woman. How can you identify a God-fearing woman? We can identify them by their inner beauty. You can identify a God-fearing woman by their inner beauty. If a fe feona e loa se fa fine bo se tina e mata o moni i le atua e te i loa i le na le le fo le mata mo fi o te tomi. So I want you to say to your neighbor, inner beauty matters. So you know the world that we live in is so concerned about beauty. Uh, everywhere we see on media, on the TV, you see the latest fashions, you see the latest uh, expensive clothing line, and 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 for us, we see everywhere what the world's perspective is of what beauty looks like. Ile lalo langi le tatu te ai tatu te va ai ile mala mala ma ama o le lalo langi ile me ita o le o le lalo le ipo le mata mo pi. So the world has their own. A view or perspective of what beauty looks like, or what they think beauty looks like. But for us Christians, I'm tato le le taiao, ele o tato is tu ele tato la le le po le 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 mata mo fia o le tato lo so ele la mo lani. We go by what the word of God says, despite what the world says about what you should do or how you should dress or how you should act. We we get how we live our lives by the word of God. It's our le 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 form and affirm and tour. So we should not believe of what the world says or what people say about you and how you should perceive what beauty is on the inside. But we go by what God says about you. It's our tu masiliatu le 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 what God says about you. So what He says should matter to us. So I'm bringing across the story of Delilah with Tato Uma. Tato ilo uma le tina le o ya talila, and so her story is is about a person who used her outward appearance. Le la le le mata mata mo fi e fafo, e fa se se e sa mo soni. What tato ilo le le tala le ya ya talila. So what she did was she used her outward appearance to distract and to really find out what the source of sense and strength was. And so, if I'm not allowed to own my own in eight years, or in six years, what I will learn and learn, my limits are more fear or fafo. My mind will be go at while it's a matter money late to me, right? You know, sometimes the outward beauty of something or some somebody distracts us from what's really going on on the inside. And so that's why I encourage each and every one of us here today, you know, especially our young people, those who are soon to be married, uh, when you make a choice. Find someone who is not only beautiful on the on the outside, but more so beautiful on the inside. And so, um, and you know, we see a lot of uh, families. Um, so five years later, after getting married, they find out the true person and how they're really like on the inside because they were so distracted by the outward appearance. So the beauty of the heart is what matters. And you know, I'm sorry to say that no makeup, no expensive clothing, no fancy hairdos can ever mask or hide the state of the heart. Because we can see, and there will be always a time that you can see everything that's going on in the heart. So if I tell you, 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 if I tell you
ile leo le wina o mea uma I said awa etupu mai yaile a mio everything above all else you must guard your heart why because everything flows from it ole mea le tawe ni lo so no matter how hard you try to hide what's really going on in the inside uh it, there'll be a time and place it a lo le le tawa le le me o lo tupu it's on lo lo to amen and so, um, you know, a tree, you can tell the tree by its fruit. Um, if a tree is unhealthy, you can usually tell by how the fruits are growing. And so it's the same with our hearts this morning. You know, if our inner beauty is, is unhealthy, if our hearts are unhealthy, we live our own lives, it will show. And how? How how would we know? By your fruit. So the more time, that's why we always encourage us, you know, the more time you spend with Jesus, the more you and I become like Jesus. The more our inner beauty becomes more radiant more beautiful and more noticeable. When your inner beauty is, is beautiful and pure before the Lord, that is what matters before God. I want you to ask your neighbor again, how is your heart this morning? How's your inner beauty going? Amen. I can hear it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so the second point is how how can we identify a, a God fearing woman? We can identify them by their works. If I feel like no sin for feeding my child, I'll let you. It's a law. Yana na wema. When the Oma wale ile ifa ipo tolo spuro, vale tolo spuro vetasi. I'll let you feed my child. Ya yoga. Evi ya lava oia. Abatu ya teia le fua ona lima. O ana na wema foi. Evi ya ai oia ifa ipo tolo. Atato ba ai na le fa ipo e ilumo oiluma atu le tato tato from. Proverbs 31 verses 10 to 31. Um, when you go home, you can read that list. But there's such a long list of what it means or what it looks like to be a God-fearing woman. Um, so I'm just going to do a brief summary of this list. If you have your Bibles, you can follow me. Um, or just some things that you can tell or identify what a God-fearing woman is. I'm just going to briefly summarize because it's, it's quite uh, lengthy, uh, it's quite long. In the Fa'i Pasu Matasi, for my Ifatu Tua Yateya, Le Loto Olanatani, the heart of her husband safely trusts her. Fa'i Pasu Tolu Maluayo Nalima, Male Fia Fia, she's a hard worker. Fa'i Pasu Lima, Eabatu Me Ai Ilona Aina, she provides for her household. Verse 20, I'm just going to jump forward. For Fa'ama Fola Nalima, Ile Watina Aina. She gives, she extends her hand to the poor. Uh, verse 21, she's not afraid of the snow because she's clothed and prepared her family for the cold. That's a loving mother. Strength and honor are her clothing. She opens her mouth with wisdom and on her tongue is a law of kindness. Um, and so we, one of the things that Pastor spoke on was the sin of gossip, right? Amen. And so verse 27, she watches over her household. And verse 28, 
Ma fafta yateya, ola natane koi, ko vivii yateya. Her children rise up and call her blessed. And we are oti na pe afai, wa wa matsui full of fana, and they say, I'm blessed with the best man. Amen. And even her husband praises her. Now that's just a summary of of that list, but. You know, when I was reading that list, I was getting a little overwhelmed. <laughs> I was like, wow, oh, my God, we are the game, the game, we see. Uh, we start to fight out, yay. But um, that's, that's what a God fearing mother looks like. Huh? It's not easy. There's so much uh, work that, that's to be done. Um, and so, like we've heard, the saying, your action speaks louder than words. It's a day, it's a little way. I live till I told not win. So, in verse 30, it says, a God fearing woman shall be, shall be praised. For my every year or year, I say, I want to know or year, yana na wema. You know, you don't need to go and tell everybody about what you've done. You just let your works speak for themselves. Amen. Um, and you know, I think as someone, if you fear love at all, you know, it's all like not at all mele, not at all photo, not at all man. We are we love to do that and and really just tell everybody about the things that we've done, right? Uh, but let me help you this morning. You know, you don't need to do that. In the fact that I in was for my feet to fight with God, Proverbs 27 verse 2, it says, "Ia di ia oi ele tanata ese ai ele o no la mutu. Ia di ia le tasi ai ele o no la la mutu." Let someone else praise you and your works, and not your own mouth, an outsider, and not your own uh, lips. Amen. Um, so, in fact, it's a ina la is it ina. Um, uh, I love the story of Ruth. Uh, we all know the story of Ruth and how she left her, her, her country, Moab, to follow her mother-in-law, Naomi. And so, you know, one day, um, one day Ruth wanted to go and work in the fields, so they were all Naomi. And so she went to work in the fields that belonged to Boaz. So one day Boaz comes and he, he asks, Who is this woman? And what I love about this is, you know, when we work, um, I love uh, I love it when people question you for something good, right? If we see the oi oi ma na ya love ni malu le ti na if I ma oni po feel it clear somewhere midway yeah, and so that's what we love. We want to we want people to question us simply because of how we are serving here. Right? So the story goes along. She's been working since the morning. She hasn't really had a break. And so this is what captured Boaz. And so in, in verse uh, Ruth, Ruth chapter 2, verse 11 and 12, um, this is where Boaz begins to see um, Ruth's works. So for my Tali my Boaz, so we'll find my Tia. What Uma no Fali Maya Tia Ume Uma were a fire and you see now on Lotani. Tell me not your Lotani. Ma way to la for why Lotama, Malotina, Malinu Nafana, why oi. You know, Boaz answered her and said, You know, it's been told, I've got a word about what you've done for your mother in law since the death of your husband. You left your father, you left everything that you ever known. Uh, to come to a people who you do not know. And so Boaz says to her, you know, may the Lord repay your work and the full reward will be given to you by the Lord God of Israel under whose wings you have come for refuge. Tinaile le tayao, a e mo lua e mo le fa maoni, e yai le aso, 
When you work faithfully, when you serve humbly, when you serve faithfully, no matter where you're at in the church, one day you shall be rewarded. You know, because of Ruth's hard works, um, she found favor in the sight of God. And again, um, I'm just going to quickly list some of the things uh, that Boaz blessed Ruth with. Number one, do not go and work in another field, but you must stay here. But you can work here in my field. And that was a blessing. Because women were not allowed to be in the same field or to work in the same place where the men were. Two, you can work and collect all the grain that you want. Um, if you were working in the fields, usually the workers would leave. So if you're working, you would leave a little bit on the ground as you're working. And that food that is left over is actually for the poor people and the foreigners, right? So, But here we look at what, uh, what Boaz is saying to her. You can collect and gather whatever grain you want. Now that's a blessing. Because she was only here, she was entitled to the leftovers. She was entitled to what was left over. But Boaz blessed her by saying, you can, you can collect whatever you want. You don't have to get the leftovers. You can take as much as you want for you and your mother-in-law. Amen. And then the last thing was, um, if you want something to drink, you can go and drink from the same water the men drink from. She would drink from the same place where the men would drink from. But again, that's that's a big no-no in that in that time and culture. Um, but the point I'm trying to get at is she was blessed with all of these things because of her works. Um, when we serve, when we serve, uh, let's continue to serve and knowing that God is the one that will bless us. And so I encourage us, you know, when we work, He will re reward you accordingly. You know, you may be working like, you know, I've been in this church for 15, 20 years and I still have no position. You know, I've been serving at this church 15, 20 years and I, you know, we're still in the same place. I was like, oh, when God, are you going to show up? You know, I encourage you this morning, continue to serve faithfully. And so no matter how long you wait for that blessing that is going to follow you because of your works, if it doesn't show up next week, if it doesn't show up in the next five years, or you may never see the blessings in your lifetime, I want to encourage you that God is so faithful. And you know, it may not be in, in our lifetime, but it might be in the generations to come. Amen. And so, so we know that Ruth and Boaz, they gave birth to a son called Obed. And I want to really uh, emphasize So from Ruth and uh, and from Obed, all better, all it's a ma, a Jesse. And then from Jesse, 
qui o i tatato i noa, o le tamalia, o le tuku tata oa. The greatest king of Israel is David, King David. And so from Ruth, who was an outsider, who was a woman who should not have been in the line, but we know that from David, if I know my yai le ngafa, le e ma wai no tato wa li'i fa'aula o Yesu Kiriso. O no le nga lua e ma le fa'a ma'a o ni o ruta, wa manu i a'i o ia, i na i a yai o ia i le ngafa e ma wai ta'a vita. Le nga te lea, doesn't stop there, but it goes from David right up into the line or the genealogy of our Saviour, our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's a beautiful reward for her. O se fa'a ma'a ni ana te lea lea mo o ia, a wa e le'i she didn't go to find anything, but she served where she was. And then God blessed her by being a part of the lineage and the genealogy of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. So, I encourage our mothers. Amen. If there's anything else that we are recognized for or noticed for or known for, may it not be about our great cooking, our great decorations, but may it be about our women who have beautiful hearts. Um, Amen. God is good, church. I will give another clap offering for God this morning. I love that story. When you think of the story of Ruth, she was a normal girl just making a normal decision. There's nothing extravagant about what she did. I don't think she ever thought in her mind that she would be in the bloodline of where David would come and then eventually King Jesus. See, all she wanted to do was just father, follow her mom and support her mother-in-law. And sometimes I think for us, we expect to be, you know, make great decisions for us to be great influencers throughout life. But I want to encourage you that just where you are, by making the simple choices in everyday life, you don't know the impact that that small choice can make if you would just be faithful to the Lord. Amen. I live for me, but I want to let you know if I have to get to Naomi. I want to know if I have to get to Naomi. I want to know if I have to get to I was so loving more, I was so young, Mara. The wing of the Upule of Mara, the Oona. I can only live on the Ole 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 I family or Mali Lula, Italian Mali Lula for you. Yeah, 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 long far. Now we have family la. So if you may well listen, man, we see in the Jewish culture, it wasn't a good thing for a mother to be a widow because once you're a widow, you're pretty much at the bottom of the of the chain. So she knew she had no hope because in the Jewish culture, it was a husband that gave you hope. The husband brought the inheritance for you, brought the family food, brought everything that you needed. Once that husband was cut off, make it even worse, cut off all the sons. That's why Naomi said, don't call me Naomi anymore. Call me Mara. Because my heart, I went joyful, I went happy, but now I have returned full of bitterness. And I want you to understand that it was in a simple decision. She told her two daughter-in-laws, you don't need to stay anymore. I have no more kids. Even if you stayed and, and waited for kids, if I got remarried and whatever, would you wait that long? You know, they both cried. They both said, sure. 
But after Naomi kept telling them to go, we know that one of them, daughter-in-law, was left. But Ruth, again, simple choice. Wherever you go, I will go. And whatever God you serve, I will serve. But the question is, how does the how did the land know? How did they know? Because when you read the story, there's nothing that tells us. All she did was tell her mother-in-law, I choose to follow you. And then that's it. And all of a sudden we see that she's known throughout the whole land as a woman who is a virtuous and good character. Why? Because I will how many of you moms have been up all night taking care of your kids? Right? Amen. You can raise your hand too. And then how many dads in the house and children, you know this, that your mom is pretty much there all the time for you. They get up early in the morning. They dress you for school. If they don't walk you to school, they take you to the school bus or they drop you off themselves. I mean, they pray for you at night. They make sure you eat. They don't eat until you eat. Am I right, children? If not, talk to me after church. <laughs> this is what a good mom does. She doesn't sleep at night. She's like a merchant ship. She goes far as she can to find food to make sure that her children and her husband are fed. In that verse it says that her husband trusts her. I don't know about you, but let me ask you mothers, do your husbands trust you? Praise God. And I pray just like she said, Midway Mothers, I hope that we're not known for anything else, especially anything negative. But I pray that is my prayer, that is Angel's prayer, that is our prayer as a leadership team, that our mothers will be known as God-fearing women. Say amen. amen. Now here's the thing, the list looks exhaustive. But I want to tell you, the list isn't there for you to cover in one day, two days, or a month. The reason why the mom could read this list is because she's done it over a matter of years. So I want to encourage our young moms. You might think, I can't do that. Don't worry, it's not about fulfilling this. Just be the best mom that you can be. Be the best mom for the sake of your children, for the sake of your family. I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. He can't do it by himself. He needs a helper. And so the question was raised, why did God make Eve out of the womb, out of the bone of a man, instead of just making Eve by herself? It's because it's the understanding that out of the man, the woman was created. And so what does this mean? It doesn't mean that the man dominates the relationship. No, it means that the man and wife, when they come together, that's why the Bible says that when a young man is to, is to be married to his wife, he is to leave his parents and become one with his wife. Say amen. Yeah. 
you'd stand together as one. Say amen. So the prayer and the encouragement is mothers, you guys are doing a great job. If not, keep doing what you need to do and keep asking God for guidance. Say amen. It's not about perfection. All of our visiting mothers, we want to greet you in the name of Jesus. And we want to say Happy Mother's Day to you. And God bless you. Say amen. Can we just give them a round of applause? Man? And so today, I know, you know, Midway, you guys have done things, you know, uh, differently in the past times, but today I want to start a new tradition with our new relationship and our uh, new covenant and how we're going to honor our moms today. Um, today, uh, I told, uh, even I was talking to Angel, you know, and she has the same heart. Our heart is this, every mother is to be celebrated. Yes, you know, I, I honor her. She's our spiritual mom and, and things like that, and that's great. You know, but today, whenever we do our celebrations, we want a celebration, celebrate celebration. We want to celebrate all of our moms as one. Say amen. So I'm going to make this really simple. I'm going to call the worship team up first because once the moms come up here, they're going to fill this place up. So worship team members, if you can make your way up to the team, or to the stage. And then I'm going to ask every mother, every woman that is in here that we want to celebrate you today. Just all stand, rise up, and let's make several lines right up here. Fa mole, tina. That's me. Don't say you went out to worship team. Amen. Yeah, all of our mothers, let's stand. If you're in here, fa mole, tato tina umolo yai. Tasi mai manaya tato fa solo mai mai. Tato tu fa tasi manaya luo laina. Some of our young moms, you can make your way on top a little bit. Let our, um, our elder women just kind of stay on the bottom. The worship team, sound of Christ, that's okay. I find a boo, I feel like a boo. Every mother that's in this place, I want to ask you to please come. Visiting moms too, please join us. So strong. 
sawe fa utua sawe fa malosi onto na ma foile ro ye tina la tu foile na ta fa yo itolo la ina me fa malosi fa utua le le ke so so ani ta ma ke le le na fa ba ba ya toile tu e ya a ta mo le ta no to ta tu to ta si ele ye ta ma re ha na o mi se tina so so ani ya te ya if you have not a file or to it, I want to live not when I'm Tina say, ma'am. If I tell you to spy here on Tina, let my phone find out by a tattoo or even tattoo for all of them. If I tell you to take me to my little way, yes, or Tina for even more, more little mother. Or Mela, their children, let us rise up and call our mothers blessed. I encourage you, don't wait until your mom's gone and then you start talking about her. What good is that when she's gone and she yeah. can't hear you? Yeah. While she's alive today, learn to honor your mother. Yeah. Talk to them today. Husbands, same thing. Respect your respect. And speak with them and communicate with them while they're here. And young men who are looking for their future wives, ask your mother. Talk to your mom. You know Proverbs 31? that was written by King Lemuel's mother, telling the king how he can find himself a virtuous wife. So today we not only want to say thank you to all of our mothers, we also want to honor them. And I'm going to say this brief prayer. And once I'm done with this prayer, the worship team can sing a song, and then you're more than free to come up, shake their hands, give them lace, flowers. If there's balloons, please hold tight on. Uh, hold on tight to them so they don't end up on our ceilings. But show your mother some love today. Say amen. Let's all stand. Tato to like my father Mole. Let's all stand. Come on, Mole. Let's all lift our hands towards our mother. We're going to pray for all of them. I'm going to pray, but I want all of us to pray. Say amen. amen. Let us all pray. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor, God. Thank you for an opportunity, God, that we get to celebrate and to honor our mothers this day. We know that we need to honor them every single day as your word commands us. But God, we take this opportunity, God, just to honor them this morning, Father. To tell you Tina umalo tutu ne fai masuelo e kade si tina o fai na si si tina umalo fai na matu ma futele ne tayo tu ina tu ya te oile tu a ye ya ino famania fa tasi pe oile tu a mai lato i so se me lato te fai i lato ma we na to tolo a i na to tolo lo e kade si te tano a tu le tu a fo i pele ola ma ma rosi ma i lo fila. Le ngata ile awala mani mama ile fa unga le tuwa ma fa yona fa tuwa i fa tuwa nga le 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 tuwa fa folo ina peo la tuwa so i fuwa le tuwa awa le tuwa tuwa ina lo fi na ngalo i a maua peo lo fa malo longa le tuwa ina tuwa tino ni isho lo maua tino mai pa i ane pa i fo o le tuwa i a i lo fa malo longa le tuwa i a i la tuwa tano le tuwa i a fa i la tuwa ma fa manu yanga tu tono a inga tu tono communities o la tuwa survive i mai se le ne e kale sia i ngalo we ngai la tuwa fa nau le tuwa i a fa i ma la tuwa ma fa tei ta inga le tuwa tu tono a inga i pray for your blessings, God, that you will bless their hands, that you will bless their lips, God, that they will only speak forth fruits of love, God, that they will continue to raise up their children in your ways, God, that they will continue to pray, that they will continue to stand firm in their faith as they set the example and set the stage for this generation that's coming. I pray, God, as your word was preached, God, that they will be God-fearing women, God, not with the outward appearance, God, but that begins from within their hearts God I pray that you will bless them Lord in their coming and their going God may you keep them oh God may you cause your face to shine upon them God and may your peace be with them in everything that they are doing any needs that they may have God we pray that you will answer it according to your will God I pray for all of our husbands all of our families all of our children God Lord that we will learn to honor them that we will learn to work together God as a unit as a healthy family God that as we continue to serve and commit our ways to you God may you make us one oh father 
Bless us, Lord. Be with us, God. All of our celebrations today and tonight, God, I pray that it would bring you glory and honor as we celebrate to them today, Father. We give you praise and we ask all of these things in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody say, Amen. 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 Yeah. And then tell them Happy Mother's Day. Come on. Yes, you.